Welcome back to another episode of Ripping Lips Adventures. Today we're going to be at the tail race in Garrison, North Dakota, or near Riverdale, North Dakota. And we're going to be fishing from the wing walls with my buddy Craig Kramer from Six Pack Custom Cranks. Hopefully we're going to catch some fish here and reel them in, pulling them up with a rope and a basket. So stay tuned, you're going to love it. He doesn't even really know what's going on. You gotta get him in, in the side of that. Just wait. Don't pull him up yet. Just don't pull up the line yet. I think we need to do that. Well, it depends, well, he does, on, he went, it depends on what he's coming in. Yeah. There's five of them down here when I'm hovering. That's the two bodies. Well, I'm hoping. He's so sitting right over that big one at the bottom. Are you using, is this the one with the plastic on it? No. no okay. I watched this, I'm like, your bottom's gone. <laughs> I'm like, I can't find the middle. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure I had it. There you go. Nice. <laughs> Best way to bring him in. That's awesome. He's been, he's healthy. Yeah, you, you got that right. That's awesome. Oh. He's been caught before. Sport right there. There it is. Finally success. Thanks for the basket job. <laughs> that is fat. Seven and a half pounds. 
That's a heavy one. Seven and a half pounds and 30 inches. I just want to say thanks to Craig at Six Pack Custom Cranks for bringing his homemade basket and Riley helping us land that pike today. I wanted to share with you an experience from March 31st of 2019 with Catlin and his son Brady as Brady pulled in a burbot and Catlin snagged a paddlefish. It was a great experience. It was long before I had a YouTube channel, but I just wanted to add that to this video. Hope you enjoy it and we'll see you next time. I think it is. It is a ling. It's a it's a burbot, a big burbot. Wow, that's a that's a great size. It's a great that's a lobster, dude. <laughs> Back it up a little bit. There you go. Up, up. Perfect. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice job, Brady. <laughs> uh, yeah, you definitely. Wow. That is. That's not your average size, that's for sure. Nice job, buddy. I've never seen one out of the water because I almost caught one and it broke my line. So I never did actually land it. Clean them. Wow, that's great. Yeah. Those are apparently delicious. That's what they call it, what is it? Lobster, lobster the, the freshwater lobster. lobster. <laughs> if you if you boil it in seven up, apparently. Yeah, I have no idea. Oh man. How are we gonna get that in the basket? I don't know man. I don't even know how that's gonna. There's no way we're gonna get that in the basket. That's like four feet. <laughs> we're gonna have to bring it all the way around the wing wall. They go out to the side like this and then they end because there's no ribs over on the sides. Hmm. Oh, that's just completely so weird. So their stomach's just like they're stuck in. Yeah, that means their stomach would have to make up like most of their body that's not their tail. <laughs> We're not an army. Well, I got two kind of close to the head now. Dude, whatever he's been eating, he's got big crayfish. I don't know, it's like, we should see it. Mm -hmm. Well, now you're good. Yeah, so let's get the meat out of the way first.